Hey traders, John Howell here. We're looking at the markets today. A little bit of a short-term sell-off in the markets today. Is this the start of the big crack that I've been looking for? Um, let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, make sure you, the first link in the description there guys, I'm giving away free membership access. See that on the trading, see that on the screen there all that stuff there i'm giving away free membership access to the trading to that trading course click on that link in the description and go check it out so what i want to talk about in today's video is a bit of a bit of a let's actually go a bit of an intraday basis here okay so we know that we've actually had a quite a nice move to the upside okay we know we've had a really nice move to the upside by looking at this this uh this market here okay now, what has actually happened is that we've actually had a little bit of a gap down. This is actually really, really weird, right? We had a bit of a gap here, last little push. Um, and so you can see here, there's generally there's, there's, there's three types of gaps that you generally get. Sort of, yeah, you generally get sort of three, possibly two types of a gap um, you can actually get in the markets here. So you can see there's 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 this there was this little gap here right so there's a, that goes there was gap number one there that's more like a breakaway gap right like it's breaking away from that there okay and then you see how we actually had another gap here it actually filled the gap but it had another bit of a gap here and that's what's more like a continuation gap or possibly even an exhaustion gap there's three types of gaps that you tend to see in an overall upward move right so sometimes it can be a breakaway gap and then followed by an exhaustion gap. Sometimes you can get three types of gaps, breakaway gap and then an exhaustion gap, which means the last little portion away we go. You can see we actually had a little gap here as well too. So this is on the S&P 500. But when I actually start to go to my intraday charts, check this out. So if I go down to my 15 minute chart, check out this. Look what's actually happening here on the intraday charts. This is actually really potentially really, really weak, right? This potentially could be a massive head and shoulder formation, massive, massive, it's a massive head and shoulder formation, right? Now it's not there yet, okay? We're not there yet when it comes to the head and shoulder formation. And what I mean by that here is that you can see we have this potential left shoulder, this potential head, and this potential right shoulder, right? Massive head and shoulder formation that is forming on the intraday charts on the S&P 500. And we're actually, this is actually really interesting, right? Because look at this here. We, you can see we've actually been pretty much strong on the upside, but we've actually strong up, flat, strong down. Now we're getting weak sideways. So we could be getting ready for something like this. So if we do, right? If we do start to get a bit of a breaking, now this is intraday charts here, guys. Intraday charts, okay, 15 minute charts. So if we do start the break below, say, 4,370 on the S&P 500, then we could be getting ready to have a move probably down to 4,270 um, on the S&P, uh, 4,270 yeah, 4, um, on the S&P 500. So if we do get something like this um, tomorrow, right? Yeah, the next day <laughs> after today that day, tomorrow, right? If we do get something like that, then guess what's coming? We're probably gonna see a really, 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 really big move um, in the markets. And that's when we're probably gonna see one to two to 3% move on the downside coming out of that there. So that's what I'm seeing through there on the S&P 500. Let's go have a look at a bit more shorter term basis. Uh, let's go look at say the now, the, now the NASDAQ, right? The NASDAQ, now we all do know that we're getting pretty far away from the moving average. So we're, we're expecting what? We're expecting a bit of a pullback anyway, right? So when it comes to all of this, we see that we've actually had a move up, move down, move up, move down. And we've had this really nice move to the upside as well too, right? Really nice move to the upside. And so if we go back to the short term, um, these, these short term charts, what do we have here? Right, what do we have here? Again, potential head and shoulder formation. Look at this here. We're making what? With strong upward trend, strong upward trend, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, equal lows. Look at the moving average, very strong on the upside, right? Very, very, very strong upside. But what's happening here now, right? 
So what's happening here now? We're actually getting what? We're actually getting a bit of a what? We're getting a bit of a sideways movement now. So once again, just like the S&P 500 guys on this chart, on this intraday chart here, um, man, I'm, if we have a, if we actually get a break in below this 4,000, 14,950 on the NASDAQ 100 index, and we get something like that, then that would tell us that we're now getting ready for a really nice, probably a really nice strong move, probably back down towards say that that, four, that 14,300 level looks like that a significant low level. We're probably gonna like, we're probably likely to see that. And once again, that's probably gonna be a four or 5%, maybe even, maybe, yeah, probably a four or 5% on the downside on the S&P. So we have a look at that point through there. Let's go to the hourly charts. Yeah, so that level through there would be that level through there. That'll be that'll be then the false breakout type of move, right? False breakout. What I mean by this guys is a, um, a traders um, is let me take this off the screen here. As you can see, right, we've actually got this level here, right? This level here and this level here, and then you can see we actually got resistance, resistance, resistance. So if we do start to, we could possibly be seeing. It actually, we could possibly see a really big down day tomorrow, right? If this starts to really roll over, like I'm saying right now, like again, we don't know if it is going to, but if we do, if we do start to roll over here and we start to get a movement on the downside, we could start to see a bit of a free fall in this market, right? Um, we could start to see something like this, like coming down like that, right? Because again, we're ex I'm expecting some, I'm expecting a really big correction to come out of these markets, so. It could be. It could get really ugly. It, this this could get. This could get. This could get ugly real fast, um, and we could get something like that. Because that remember that black line there, is the line where I said we probably could get onto on an intraday basis, right? So if we do break below this level here once again, this level here, and we get something like this, guess what? We might do something like that, but we're probably inevitably going to head back down towards these low levels down through here, and I don't believe it's going to stop there. Right, I believe that we could actually get down towards these bottom level through here as well too. Right, resistance, resistance, all through here. So we could quite possibly, possibly even get a pullback down toward these levels through here. So this actually could get this could get ugly quite quickly. Right, moving on now through to the Dow Jones. Look what happened with the Dow Jones. Right, we had all this high point up here, all this high point. Look at it here. Poked his head back above it, slightly back above it sucked a lot of people in and then bam on the downside let's go back to that hourly chart and once again same for the dow jones right we saw so the 15 minute charts big massive head and shoulder formation massive 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 head and shoulder formation left shoulder big head big right shoulder right so if we do indeed start to once again break below here we could possibly see on the dow jones we're probably not going to get a big pullback so we could possibly see a bit of a move down towards this this lower level here, right? So let's go to the hourly charts now. Let's see what see, see what we're seeing here. Yeah, so we had a strong move up and a strong move down. This is actually looking quite weak, guys. Um, yeah, it's actually looking quite weak, especially when you get to this moving average here. All right, let's actually bring this up to here for a minute. Yeah, so we could, again, the, the Dow Jones could see a 2 or 3% pullback out of this level through here. So I'm really expecting to see this thing probably start to come back quite strongly, guys, um, you know, out of this market through here. And if we do start to see, if tomorrow and the next day we start to see that the breaking of these lows, especially like in the NASDAQ, like the breaking of these lows through here, right through there, um, you know, and same for same for the S and P five hundred, right? Same for this S and P five hundred. If we start to get a breaking below this low here, then guess what? High, lower high. We're breaking past these low levels through here. Then we could be getting ready for a really big movement on the downside. Hey traders, I want to give you free access to my Mastering the Markets trading course. Uh, if you go to johnsfreegift.com, here's what you're going to learn in there. You're going to learn the number one chart reading and trading technique that's working, that's been working since the 1950s. You're going to learn the chart, the trading boundaries technique that shows you the best and worst time to place a trade. You're going to learn also about price and time phases so you can understand what's going on right now and also what's to come as well too. My number one powerful short-term income trading system that gets a 90% success rate, the most powerful trading techniques on the planet. 
the biggest trading mistakes that's stopping you from making an income. You're going to learn all about the super trader formula, plus the three secrets to making a full-time income from trading. So this is what I want you to do right now. Go to johnsfreegift.com. Go there right now. Get free access to this training course. Go get the help. It's 100% free. Go there right now. Go to johnsfreegift.com right now.